seventy-four thousand dollars and six hundred seventy-four thousand six hundred seventy dollars and zero cents. Uh, a lot of this. Oh my god! Wow, what timing! Wow, that was great. What's up, YouTube? I'm Brian with New Car Spin. Behind the camera is Yale, and today, well, that's the 2021 BMW M440 i convertible. It's not really an M4. It's if they made an M4 convertible, this would be the next step down, but they don't yet. So this is the best one you can get now. And right now it's May, which is the best time to take a road trip in Texas. You have wildflowers like you see across the street. Uh, not too much pollen, so your allergies aren't really kicking your butt yet. And it's still not too hot out, so you can actually get away with using a convertible. And so the first thing I want to show you is the trunk. Because that's as far as it opens. And they've had a previous generation 3 series where the trunk opens kind of like parallel to the rear window. And as far as I can tell, the trunk doesn't need to do this because this is a new generation convertible where it has a soft top so there is no hard top with all this like geometry and folding nonsense but it still has a, a design that requires for some reason the trunk to do that so i'll go ahead and open the top for you which you can obviously do from the key but you have to be close to the car to do it but as you can see the way the top opens there's a huge panel and then the top itself closes and then the panel comes back in so you can see why the trunk would need to be closed um i would prefer actually ha not having a panel design and maybe having the trunk be a little further closer to the cabin space but i know i guess they had to do it this way i know there are some modern convertibles like the miata and the well the fiat which doesn't exist anymore but the top just folds down and the, the exterior of the top is the actual cover, which would make a lot more sense to me, but whatever. Obviously your first question would be, where are the roll bars? They're right here. These are the protection systems that pop up behind the headrest. They just shoot up and they provide the safety roll cage for all the occupants of the vehicle. And I do want to show you the top again. So let me just close this. If you can just come over here, I'll show you a better angle. If I hold down the lock button, it'll close by itself. But I want to show you something. If you come right over here, right there, I'm going to stop this. You see this panel? That is a composite panel and it's on every level. It does this because the car is not running. It's a safety thing too. But that panel is actually so that you don't have any slash and grab theft. So someone can't just come in it with a knife and slice your top open and get in. They are going to have to deal with a hard panel. So they're not going to be able to break in. The other thing about this top is it looks kind of funky. And that's because this is the optional top. This $150 option, which is a really cheap option. And it looks like denim. But if you get really close on it, you can see there's like a white weave in here. But from far away, it almost looks like a really shiny vinyl top in some cases. So with this color, it works. But I would almost say that's a dangerous option to go for because I don't know how that top's going to look in a couple of years. Hmm. But I think that's kind of neither here nor there. You'll also see we have these like matte gray. Kind of looks like titanium. Mirror covers, yeah. Yeah. And we have black window trim. Ooh, look at that gloss. Shadow line. So this is a, you also see blue M brake calipers on there. It's got the M brakes. They're huge, Brian. Yeah. And laser adaptive headlights. And my favorite part is this front grill because if you have your girlfriend in the shower and her butt just touches the glass, it leaves that kind of an imprint. Some people hate that look. I just I just see my girlfriend's butt every time, but you know. That's great, Brian. Yeah, that's just, 
Hopefully people will now see that instead of whatever they think they're seeing. But that's what I see. So the other thing too is I never popped the hood. So let's pop the hood and see what it looks like. By the way, the views of Brian are not necessarily the views of other content creators on this channel. Yeah, but that's that's why you watch New Car Spin, because I'll say the things no one else says, because it's my channel. It is, it is your channel. <laughs> and, and I don't have a committee. It's nice. It Dude, looks good. It yes. I like it. Inline six-cylinder, twin-scroll turbo, somewhere around 400 horsepower, three-something. I don't know. 380? 370 either way it's either good. way when you're riding in it it feels fast yeah but it's a 48 volt hybrid mild hybrid something rather that's interesting so what that means is it's actually not a hybrid but it actually behaves like a hybrid when it is stopped and this is where we're going to deep dive into this M440i because there's some things when I immediately got in I was like what is this nonsense and then I started driving it and went oh this is actually it's actually decent so let's go ahead and get in and I'll show you what it's all about behold the interior of the M440i when you shut the door and turn the vehicle on you get the seatbelt butler and that's a coopy thing, BMW does it in their coops. And it helps when you put your seatbelt on, it goes away. Here, let me help you with that. Uh, Yale's putting a seatbelt on right now. And basically- Safety first. Yeah, right. What we have is digital instrumentation, really nice layout. But the first thing, well, heated seats actually, uh, and a heated air neck thing here and here and then here's the top control now you'll notice something is missing here and I'll give you some time to think about it meanwhile we will go ahead and uh, go get some coffee actually because with this weather and it's already 2:45, um, I'm starting to fall asleep a yell yeah, yeah you agree yeah, okay yeah. Big, All right. big lunch so one thing that happens is you push this down the top opens and you'll see one thing that happens is just wait for it wait for it wait for it right there okay so if i close the top you'll see that there's this gap here oh yeah right and so as that back panel comes down it cinches up which is really really wow really cool yeah i'm gonna actually go ahead and leave the top up because it's kind of chilly and uh, we don't we don't have to worry about the cold weather because we have the heated neck thing and everything else. But I think we just need sort of noise, less noise. Mm. And so while this car is running, we have uh, wireless charging here for your phone, wireless Android Idol, uh, Apple CarPlay, blah, blah, blah. And that's an option, 500 bucks. But what I find interesting is, you know, you have the cup holders here. So when you have a drink in here, your phone is in that wireless thing and you can't really access it. And I don't like to look at all that and I keep the panel down. I prefer this look. Mm -hmm. I would almost assume that, I don't know, I'd rather just have charging inside the armrest area. That seems more logical to me, but you know, it is, it is what it is. We also have cup holders in the doors, which is even better. Yeah. So pretty big ones too very big ones and uh what i'll do is oh yeah harman kardon stereo which is lovely it's not uh acoustically accurate because you're in a convertible but still it's it's a decent decent sound system uh, better than the harman kardon in my m roadster now we don't have a manual we have this automatic and we have a great backup system mm -hmm. and what i'll do show you real quick is We'll go forward here like this. We'll have auto hold as well. Let me turn that off. Okay, so we're going in like this left circle and then we're gonna straighten out a little bit, right? And then we're gonna stop and then I'm gonna put it into reverse. Um, I have this feature here called backup assistant. And if I press that while we're in reverse, it says 43 feet. Now back up a little bit with your camera. 
and you're going to watch this car back up in the exact same path that we just took going forward all by itself. So it's memorized and it'll do it up to like 150 feet or something where we were. So if you're in a complicated driveway, end of route would be reached shortly, five feet. And then it tells me there's a cyclist, four feet, three feet, two feet, one foot. Bum, done. Okay, so it's the end of the route. It's just memorized on the way wow. in. Yeah, it's really nice. And it has automated parking and it has a really cool camera setup so that if I get close to an obstacle in front, let's see if we can uh, replicate it right now. Let's see if I can change it to the camera angle of the front camera. Boom. So watch here, if I, if I turn the wheel right, the camera actually moves right. If I turn left, it actually moves left. That's really cool. And then as we get closer to the object here, it shows how close I am. And then it should at some point, which it did to me once before, is it kind of gave me a top-down view. Let's see if I can show it here. No, it didn't do it this time. Nope. I don't know. It's an automatic system, and it seems to work sometimes and not other times. But there was a really cool shot where it, it goes from the front view, and then it pans down automatically. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly where or how, but it's cool. All right, so let's go get some coffee. Drive along here. You'll notice in comfort mode, which is the default, when we get to a complete stop, the engine will shut off. And there's usually a defeat button for that. And if you're paying attention, when I told you to find out what's missing, you might have said, hey, the auto stop start defeat button is missing. And that is correct. Because this is a 48 volt mild hybrid, the engine's off. And when I take my foot off the accelerator, the engine turns back on. And there's like a alternator starter thing that's going on there. Funny is it's starting the vehicle, almost a silent start sound. And then it's also about 11 horsepower and it's supposedly kind of like propelling the car a little bit. I don't really notice that. I just notice that the vehicle is off and then it turns on and it does it effortlessly. You can't turn it off. The only way to really defeat that, let's see if it'll do it now. No, it won't. If I turn the camera button on. No, it still won't do it. I don't know. There's a way to do it and a way not to do it. What I do notice though is if you want to defeat the start stop, all you have to do, well, you can do a couple things. So right now we're just in drive comfort mode. We can knock this gear selector over into sport. Now that changes the way your gears shift. It shifts at a higher RPM, they shift a little crisper. But when you come to a stop, the engine stays on. So rather than hitting a button every time, you just move it in sport. What's the problem with that? Or if you put it in regular drive, the, the engine just shut down, right? You could also press this button here, which is sport. The engine starts back up. And then we have different sport modes, actually. So standard plus, and then we can configure our individual one. Standard is not including the sport suspension or sport, uh, sorry, transmission setting. And if I go into sport plus, you'll notice too, it says here, it still says drive, but it says sport plus. And so like getting into this car and having an M Roadster myself with a manual transmission, I'm and I had this problem with the M235, I think it was. I was basically saying, where is the M? M is like a, an essence. It's, it's like everything is, is going balls to the wall. But in this car, just like in the 235i, the way I found it was Sport Plus, Sport, Traction Off. And now you get Sport Plus with the plus sign and then traction oh, yeah, and then cool. dynamic traction control activated. And now everything's optimum, right? So now we have the true essence of what an M should be, but in the M440i. So what we'll do is we'll go get some coffee real quick. Uh, we'll go make a right. Now you can hear more of the exhaust. 
it's definitely more pronounced. And this is a really thick, insulated, padded top. So you're not really hearing all of the noise that you normally would hear. But we'll go for it from here. Here's some of it. And the gear shifts are really crisp and really abrupt, very purposeful. And this is just basically where the M part of it comes from. You definitely know. Okay, there's the M. So if you get in these cars and you don't do all this combination, you won't notice it. But now I notice it, how about you? Yeah. So the that's the essence of it. Sport Plus, Sport Transmission, traction off, and you're good to go. You got the party started. And if you're not in this kind of mood, you just go comfort, immediately, everything's back to normal. Traction is still in off mode, so we'll turn that on, and then transmission is still in sports, so we'll do that. Now it'll go back into its regular 48 volt mild hybrid setup. So it's been raining today a little bit. I was hoping it would rain more so I could show you more or less what the top is like and how it operates. Go back into Sport Plus, actually. Oh yeah, we made it safe. And uh, let's see, there's a police station. And then of course, next to that's the donut shop, I mean, coffee shop. So we'll go get some coffee right there. How about that? You good with that? You yeah. awake? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, big lunch. Yeah, we had a big lunch. What I'm, what I'm liking a lot about this convertible is that it is very, practical as as luxurious as it is and as sporty as it is it makes a lot of sense to to buy even though this one comes in at seventy four thousand dollars wait wait how much seventy four thousand wow. yeah just look at it like this it's a seventy four thousand dollar tanning bed with wheels <laughs> and it actually sounds good and it actually moves rapidly and it gets it gets a lot of attention. It's not like my M Roadster where people give me a thumbs up and stuff, but people still turn their heads and they look and they go whatever. So here's the, here's the best thing. Uh, it, whether you have a manual transmission or whether you have an older BMW like mine, you have auto hold. You can put auto hold on, and then you can put it in comfort mode, right? Boom. And in this case, the engine's not off, but the engine will turn off when it doesn't need to be on. And you've got auto hold, so I can take my foot off. Now we're being held on this incline at this crazy long uh, drive through for coffee. And I can just sit here like normal as if I was in a commuter car and just, you know, do whatever I needed to do before I, it was my turn. So what this car gives you is when it shuts off, you're not sitting here with like this hyper intense V8 just rumbling along and you know loading up and giving this thing that like I need to get moving I need to do something you can just sit, sit here and chill so it's a it's a really good combination of I got the convertible top I can put that down in the traffic you because it's not a hard top and it's 40 percent lighter than the last gen you can actually use this while you're driving I've tried it I've went up to about 25 miles an hour using it and it's a very convenient thing to have and that's it it's done Plus I have a button here, just like on most of the convertibles these days, it'll raise and lower all the windows at once, which saves a lot of time. Kind of gives me a little bit more safety in an urban area if I'm at a red light. And here we go. I want to show you the window sticker because it's, it's extensive. $74,000 and $74,670 and zero cents. Uh, a lot of this, oh my God. Wow, what timing. Wow, that was great. At least it didn't land on you. <laughs> Let's pause that. Let's pause. Okay, so that was interesting. Someone already wanted to obviously put a deposit on this car. Basically, though, uh, $150 option for the top, $500 option for this neck warmer, $500 for the wireless charging, $875 for the stereo, and the destination is $995. The only real option on here that makes a difference is the executive package and the parking assistance package, which I showed you was that automatic 
backing up and parking situations. So the dynamic handling package was these 19 inch wheels. And I think you could even get red brake calipers at no extra cost. So the base price is really 64. So $10,000 in options. The gray metallic, Dravit gray metallic, 1950. And I think that's a BMW individual color, but I'm not quite sure. But that is a pricey color price. Yeah, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And let's see here. Uh, 31 MPGs on the highway, which I have not been seeing. 23 in the city. And uh, yeah, that's the window sticker. All, all of that and more. All right, so what I'll do is go ahead and put the top up. It automatically brings the windows down a little bit, sets the top up, and then basically uh, pretty easy to do. It takes a little longer than I would like, actually, and that's because of that big panel in the back. I wish, I wish they had designed it to be faster, but there's nothing they can do about that. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Do you have any questions? So the hybrid system is not a hybrid system? Nope. It's really a 48 volt system that's designed to just keep things running while the engine is off. Uh, the mm -hmm. Most of the vehicles, like if you think about the Mercedes EQ, they kind of do that, but then they also sort of propel the car. But in this one, what I've been noticing is the moment I left my foot off the brake, mm -hmm. um, it's not really doing anything. And if I put my foot on the accelerator, the engine's on. The engine's right. immediately on. There right. is no delay. It's pretty seamless. Yeah. Hi, thank you for Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you for asking. We're getting what do you want? For you. Just a small drip. Uh, can I get a small drip and then a small cappuccino? Small drip and a small cappuccino, you got it. Will I complete your order today? Yeah. Sounds good if you run the window, thank you. Great. So that's the other thing. I've, I've owned BMWs in the past and none of them had cup holders. Here we have cup holders and that's a good thing. Um, pretty much a great car to have if you're looking for an all-rounder and a convertible and there's no all-wheel drive in this and the rear seats don't fold down like some of the competitors <coughs> the audi but uh yeah it's not as loud as it was i would like it to be and the top is not as fast as i would like it to be that's pretty much the only thing that's wrong with this car but it is as fast as you'd like it to be the car is as fast as i would like it to be but the top is not sure and the stereo is decent uh heated seats are good car is comfortable there's plenty of space in here and i highly recommend it mm -hmm. yeah and uh i'm trying to think if there's anything i'm forgetting but there really isn't it is what it is oh yeah never use eco pro mode eco pro mode just totally ruins the car it, it why what's it do it does this whole some people don't like the word retard, but it retards the, the gas pedal to the point where you, you can't get moving fast enough in any traffic and you just become too slow to get around town in. And it's all done in a way to uh, maximize efficiency and reduce fuel consumption. It turns down or tunes down the air conditioning. It does all these things to try and maximize fuel economy. Uh, we have a 42 mile range on the tank, what's left, and I still, I'm not using eco pro mode and in most cars i mean that's like the hope and pray button like oh right. i could i can make it a little bit more before i have to fill up right. in this car i wouldn't even touch it wow. i'd rather i'd rather walk than use that button wow yeah honestly um we have sos in here i'm not sure if that's 3g or 4g if it's 3g uh it's it'll be useless at the end of december 31st 2022 uh, Verizon and everybody, they're all turning all that stuff off. So hopefully it's 4G. I haven't really checked. Um, that's about it. Great car. Really yeah. good. And you'd think it's expensive, but it's not. If you didn't get this executive package, which not everybody will have on these cars, and if you didn't get the upgraded wheels or anything like that, what you're stuck with is 64 grand for a car that will outperform anything else out there. It so, is fast. Yeah. yeah, it's very good. That's it. Comfort mode, car stop start, everything else. Yeah. If I was on the track, I'd beat the living crap out of this thing, but 
Um, most tracks don't allow convertibles anyway, and this doesn't have the hard top. So I think if you're looking for a track car, this is not it. You would need a hard top or something right. smaller, like an SL or whatever. Because you're not going to put a roll bar in this thing. No, no, no. You're just going to lease this thing and get rid of it when you're done. Yeah. Still, though, it's decent. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'm going to drink my coffee now. Bye. Yeah. Bye.